Malcolm, we're standing next to the Fiat Cubo, a rather unique vehicle. Give us some of the highlights. Yes, Your Honour, it is really a unique vehicle in the sense that um, it misleads the eye when you approach it from the outside. It has uh, rather smallish looking dimensions from the outside, but um, once you enter the vehicle, you're really pleasantly surprised by the interior space. You have um, exceptional headroom in the vehicle, you have exceptional boot space, uh, which increases from a standard 330 litres to 2,500 litres once down. you have the seats folded. And you have 16 different seat configurations which you can do on this vehicle, and in terms of increasing uh, the load capacity from, uh, as I said, from 300 to 2,500. What we could also what we could also highlight in, in internal features of the vehicle is the absolute versatility in terms of driving in city driving. You have a, a, a turning circle of uh, 10.11 meters, and also what is really unique about it, it has a servo-assisted power steering, which actually helps this vehicle to be able to steer a lot easier than just a, a normal power steering. And um, what you find on this uh, vehicle also that is very interesting is that it has a Bluetooth connection uh, via internet. And uh, we can explain that in the sense that um, it is the Bluetooth Blue By Me system which you can log on to the internet with and Fiat South Africa then manages your fuel consumption and your performance of the vehicle via the internet for you. So that is one of the unique features, especially if you are using this vehicle as a shuttle service, which um, in the area has been done quite a bit now. It, it really helps you to maximize your performance and fuel consumption on the vehicle and really maintain a vehicle. And one of the most unique features about this vehicle is that you have a 30,000 kilometer service interval or every two years, which really makes it something worthwhile looking at in terms of the maintenance costs on the vehicle. Initially, with all new Fiat's, you receive a 100,000 kilometer or three year maintenance plan, which is all inclusive, a 100,000 kilometer or three year warranty, factory warranty on the vehicle. And that really is something to think about when purchasing a vehicle like this for business purposes or even for private use, because it really makes it an economical vehicle. Malcolm, you mentioned the spaciousness of the vehicle. That's obvious, but what intrigues me is this uh, sliding door feature at the back. Well, that is, that is really, as you said, that is something that intrigues us, but if we open the door and we notice immediately the easy ingress that you have to the vehicle, but that doesn't stop there. If we go to the other side of the vehicle, we have another sliding door which really makes for easy access and and, and exit from the vehicle and nobody has to really climb over anybody. Once you have folded the seats forward you have also very easy access to any load that you may have put in the back there and or any luggage that you need to remove. You can actually configure the seats any way that you need to. You can configure it from a five-seater to a three-seater to a four-seater or as you said to a two-seater. Another unique feature about this vehicle, Johan, is the standard um, application or the standard roof rails that you get with the vehicle and not many vehicles come with uh, such a strong roof rail because once you've put the uh, diagonal bars onto this roof rail you can actually load up to 400 kilograms on top of this vehicle and that coupled with the towing capacity that this vehicle has on a brake trailer of 550 kilograms that gives you quite some load and if you know that your vehicle is loaded down and having the brake assist to cope with all of that, you really have a vehicle that you can use as a good transporter. Yeah, also an outdoor vehicle, like and for the beach sets. And a very good outdoor vehicle. The guys that are out there with their surfboards, this is the ideal vehicle for them. Mechanical specifications? Mechanical specifications, well, we have two versions of this, the, the Cubo. The one that we're looking at at present, that is a 1400 multipoint engine. It delivers 55 kilowatts at uh, 5,200 RPMs and 190 Newton meters torque at uh, 5,200 revolutions per minute. Then we have the diesel version, which is a 1.3 multi-jet. It is a turbo with an intercooler, and that delivers 54 kilowatts and 190 meters of Newton torque. So we have those two versions, and the fuel consumption on the petrol one, you're looking at an average index of about 6.6 .6 liters to 100 kilometers, and a lovely index on the diesel of about 4.3. 
um, on the average index per 100 kilometers. Okay, now people who have listened to you up till now, they want to know how much. Well, the diesel coming in at 225,900, as I said, with the full maintenance plan, and this version that we're looking at here now, 200,990 rand. And Malcolm, uh, no extras? I mean, what you, what you see here is what you, uh, is what you pay for. No, there are a number of extra features that we, that we can be looking at on this vehicle. We are looking at, as we said, we're looking at uh, ABS, we're looking at brake assist, we're looking at EBD on this vehicle. We also have, as I said, the Bluetooth feature on the vehicle with the uh, audio controls on your steering wheel. You can program up to five phones on this vehicle. And as I said, the Blue By Me function, which is directly managed by the internet by Fiat South Africa for you. Okay, but that will affect the price that you've mentioned. No, that won't affect the price that mentioned. These are standard features that come with the vehicle. That's fine. Thank you, Malcolm. Thanks very much.